Big news on the farm today. After a long, long, long wait, our package has finally arrived. Before we get going, go ahead and click that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you enjoy our video, be sure and give us that thumbs up. So if you're not familiar, this is Starlink Internet. It's a new satellite internet that's supposed to be pretty fast. Thank you, Elon. I think Elon has ever been around me. Uh, I doubt it. Twice? Maybe. What's that? That dirt looks expensive. Yeah, don't drop it. That's what I need, picture instructions. Looks pretty simple, bud. So we ordered this, it's been about a year now. We've been on a waiting list to get it and finally showed up. Our current internet speed is negative. Three, one, two, three megabytes per second. That wasn't a, a typo or a mispronunciation. That was three. It's about three notches above dial-up. Starlink's supposed to get us in the is it 200 to 300 range. Yeah, I think like if you get, you know, 120 to 150. We're supposed to hit triple digits, so we're, we're, we're pretty excited. Job here looks like we plug her in and run the cord out. I mean, does this thing just have an extension cord? <laughs> Let's go set it up. You download the app, and then you scan the sky. We're heading up on the roof to see if we can find out where this thing needs to go. Don't pull a Chevy Chase. Coming up. Yeah, you know how it scared me. We're like seven feet higher than we were a minute ago. Well. Oh, yeah. Seven too many. When you're scanning, it gives you a little percentage code, and there's all these little dot things. It tells you to scan the entire sky. This is a decent spot for your Starlink. What do you think decent means? I don't know. Let's try one more little scan. Things these trees? This is a great place for your starlight. Nail it. But we decided to actually run, this is the part that plugs into our satellite. We're gonna run it through this hole in the floor where there used to be a gas, there used to be a gas line right there. So we're gonna run this through here, gotta drill out a little bit more, go under the house and back up to our satellite. So show them that end right there versus the end. So this plugs. is the end right here. This is what plugs into the actual satellite as opposed to the other end is big. this end here. So you see the difference. You do the math. This goes in the modem. So we're starting from inside with this one. Basically now we're going from the inside out. That plug in's easier to get through the hole since it's straight. So we're going from the point where the modem is going to be. Sorry. Back out. <sighs> One step closer, my friend. Another nice implement. This commercial break brought to you by our friends at Dyson. Random fact. If you guys are looking for a good gift for your wife and you won't get slapped by buying her a vacuum cleaner for a birthday or something of that sort, anniversary, it's a good one. Ready? Yep. Terrible kick. Good throw. Yeah. <laughs> we found the spot we want it to go. We are decided to put a little bit of Lexel. It's got four little holes. 
a little light sail on each one. A little pro tip, amateur tip. Don't try to move that with your hands. Once you plug this thing up, supposedly it adjusts itself, starts moving. Even though Elon made it super easy with a set of instructions that you don't even have to read, you just look at, I still couldn't understand them. Don't touch it, just don't. All right, we're all secured. Feel pretty secure. I think so. Our modem is set up. Gonna head up there on the roof and see what's going on because I don't see anything going on in here. At least not yet, other than there's one little light, that little white light on the bottom of it came on. Let's go see if we got any action outside. All right, Elon, don't let us down, my friend. So you log in and then you set up your network name and a password. And then it says go back out and click on your network name. So I'm waiting on it to show up now. I'm thinking we may be close enough. I may just send mine back and see if I can grab a little internet service over there. So mine says Farmer Hunt. Up, 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 up. There we go. Up, Carly. Is it falling? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that. Nicole just said, is it falling? No, but she's moving. What? Huh? You hear this? What'd she say? Does the cord just hang off the house? Put him up. The answer to that is yes. Until you fix it. <laughs> Impossible. Only women would complain about, even though they have 200 megs. We'll go back to Century Lane. <laughs> you got any any deal yet? It just says we may have to go unplug offline, but then it says booting. Okay. So booting kind of gives me hope. Yeah. I like booting. This thing got us excited when it started moving, and then that dude had to unplug his and plug it back in unplug the power mm -hmm. to the motor will you unplug the power and plug it back up will you unplug the power it's running inside where we charge stuff he's so nervous and plug it back in. the anxiety level was 11 out of 10. and his pants are too small It just swapped over to disconnect it when she unplugged it. They already been complaining about the hole in the floor, the cable on the side of the house. They are over there just hitting refresh though every second trying to get on this internet. And they don't even have to pay the bill. I think it just needs some time. All right, now what we're gonna do, we've got it set up. It says it's online. So I'm gonna connect to my old Wi-Fi which is our century link. And we're gonna run a speed test. It's a whopping three and a half. So that's our download speed. Next will be the upload speed. This is what we deal with when we're trying to get a video uploaded. It's pretty pitiful. Point four. All right, so now, Swap over to Farmer Hunt. Which is the Starlink. Go back and retry. One eighty one. with an upload speed of 10.2. I don't really know what that means, other than... It sounds like it means that it is 20 times faster yeah. than what the other one was. So whereas a normal YouTube video used to take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to upload, so I'm interested to see now 
what it, how long it takes when we start uploading these videos. When was the last time you used a brush? On my hair? Yeah. Or teeth? Both. It's been a minute on the hair, but every day, twice a day on the teeth. I want to, I want to roll that hair brush through there once. Is it sticking up a little bit? No, it's just matted. Uh oh. A little chicken. That's a working man right there. Well, thank you. <laughs> Good to see y'all. Dum dum dum. You're welcome. Is it that? 181 megs. I cannot believe how fast this is. Yeah. Eric's pulled up one of our YouTube videos. Let's go see what kind of day we're about to have. For us, if you ever fast forward a video, it always does some buffering. I never knew that that was an option. No. So that's how people skip through your videos. Now it makes sense. You have internet service. But y'all don't be skipping through our videos. No. Tell them, Coleman. Y'all back it up. Amazing. I love it. You gonna go set yours up? No. All right, we're heading over to Eric's because he's got Starlink 2 and we're setting it up part two. We're not gonna do a video because same thing, but thank y'all for watching and don't forget, click that subscribe button, give us a like. If you have any questions about Starlink, leave those down in the comment section and we'll probably do an update video, maybe about a month. So give us some time to try it out, upload some videos, use the internet, let the wives see what they think about it see if they can deal with a cable hanging off the side of the house. Kids, get in the house. We have 181 megs. <laughs>